Harvest Health and Recreation is coming on strong. I had a chance to speak with CEO Steve White and find out how the company plans to keep on growing. I would love to tell you no, that we will not experience any growing pains, but absolutely, everyone will experience growing pains. As an organization, we've grown really quickly before, so we've already experienced growing pains. Um, you learn, growing pains hopefully are an opportunity to fix a problem, something that you overlook in the growth process, and you correct it, you add infrastructure around things that caused growing pains before, so you don't have the same growing pains over and over. So it's a learning process, but yes, it'll be iterative and continuing. Our business plan is conservative. Uh, the way we model, we model with really conservative assumptions. Um, and so there have been instances, I guess Massachusetts is an example where it's actually moved slower than what we modeled. I think that's true for everybody in the industry. Um, but generally speaking, the assumptions we make when we do internal models are very conservative. And so what do you close for, I mean, are you still looking at acquisitions while you're waiting for Verano to close, or do you feel like you're kind of settled for now? No, we, we are, we are, we have three lawyers who are full-time drafting term sheets, definitive documents, and, clo and, and getting deals closed. That's their job. In addition to that, we have outside counsel that we employ multiple firms because we believe that we're at a, at a critical juncture where we can't slow down. Um, licenses that we acquire today will be worth more in a year than what we pay for them today. If that's true, we want to acquire as many as we can. So there are a number of states that we think there are going to be positive changes announced in the near future. In those states, we want to go as deep as we can. In other states, we haven't maxed out yet. And so there, we want to max out what we're allowed to have. Okay. What, uh, what, what state do you think right now shows the most promise for you? Uh, the one that I like the best? The sneak, this, there's the sneak, the off the radar one is Arizona. Um, Arizona in June is going to announce the adult use language, which is going to be on the ballot in November of 2020. Um, there are a few multi-state operators who have contributed to that process. Harvest, Cure Relief, and MedMen. It wouldn't surprise you to learn that Harvest, Cure Relief, and MedMen are actively looking to acquire assets in the state of Arizona. Um, California is a state that we love, um, so we're going to continue to be aggressive in California as well. But Arizona is the one that it's more on the radar now than it used to, but it's still not getting the credit that it deserves.